So you, with your new knowledge now of 30, 60, 90 right triangles, should be 100% proficient at example proficient? five. So uh, do you know negative angles? Do you know what they mean when they say yeah, negative angles? Yeah, instead of going, uh, is the pointer on? The pointer's on, yeah. Instead of going this way, mm -hmm. you go backwards. Okay, so with the pointer, show me where negative 120 would be. So where's negative 90? Where's negative 90? So it's right here, right? Mm -hmm. This spot is negative 90. Stop. Okay. So negative 120 would be like a third of the way down here. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know that like these 30, 60, 120, all these guys, they all come from 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Okay. Right? So if I draw a triangle like this, and let me let me do the triangle. So I'm gonna draw a triangle like so. Now What am I doing? I am purposefully drawing this angle to be 30 degrees. Because we know that this angle right here is 90 degrees. Okay. Which makes the total angle, right, if I want to talk about this total thing here, the total green angle is going to be our official negative 120, negative 120 degrees, right? Because we're going backwards. We're going backwards. Okay, but the triangle we care about is this triangle. Okay. All right. What kind of triangle is this? Right triangle. Right triangle. Good. Anything more specific about it? Uh, 30, 60, 90. Okay, what's the length of the hypotenuse? Uh, I don't know. What's well, the unit circle? It's one. So even though my graph, remember we said my graph is labeled up to 10, we're going to call this 10 millimeters. And then, so we'll call the unit circle, uh, we'll call this one centimeter. Okay, just, okay. just so people who are watching the video, they're like, hey, wait a minute, why does your unit circle have radius 10? We're saying, no, it's 10 millimeters. Okay. Right? But it actually has radius 1 centimeter. Okay? Okay with that? Yes. All right. Um, so, now, I have this imagined other half of an equilateral triangle. Right? I'm imagining that, you know, if I reflect my 30, 60, 90, it, I get this other half of an equilateral triangle which is exactly what tells me that each of these bottom pieces have length one half, right? Mm -hmm. Because they have to join forces to make another side of length one, okay? okay. And so if I, again, this thing, which I'm imagining is an equilateral triangle, which tells me this side is one half. And then I'm not going to make you do the calculation again because you've done it a whole bunch of times, but this length right here, Square root of three over two. Okay, so you're now you're now you're getting it. Now I'm a machine. Okay, so three over two. so this x y coordinate. Now, not thinking about the triangle. Now we're thinking about x and y of this point right here. What's the x coordinate? Uh. So it's this, right? Mhm. Mm so is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. And it's negative, what, 3,005? Yes. It's negative 3,005? No. No, what is it? I like negative 3,005. <laughs> it's negative... Negative 120? 120. Where are you getting 120? Oh, you're reading... Oh, no, 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 no. This is the angle, remember? This this 120 right here oh, okay. is referring to this angle. The okay. green refers to green. So, um, what I want to know is... How long 
here we'll even the yellow side that I'm coloring in at the bottom here is the same length as this x coordinate up here mm -hmm. right and I want to know how long is that 0 0.5 0 0.5 all right so I'm gonna put one half I I have a preference for fractions you can do decimals if you want but, see, the thing is, root 3 over 2, you, it's hard to do that one as a decimal. And I guess I gave away. But wait a minute, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. I let you get away with something too soon. It's not, the x-coordinate is not actually 1 half. Is it positive or negative? Negative. Why is it negative? It's in this quadrant. Right, we went over here. Okay. And then is the y-coordinate going to be positive or negative? Because we're going down, right? Mm -hmm. We're going down this way. And then, of course, what's the y-coordinate? Negative root 3 over 2. All right. Okay. So, to sum up, look, I can say, I can draw all sorts of 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Okay. I could draw one here. I could draw one here. I could draw one here, here, and so on, okay? So all of these points, this would correspond to 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 120, and 150, okay? And then I can do the same thing on the bottom, right? I can do this kind of thing. We already did this one here. So each of these pink triangles that I'm drawing, mm -hmm. this would be like negative 30, negative 60, of course we did negative 120, negative 150, okay? Each of these pink triangles that I'm drawing can be analyzed using the 30, 60, 90. Okay. Do you believe that? This yes. whole like picture of a butterfly looking Thingy. thing? Okay. So, 30, 60, 90 triangles, we can close the book on that. Is that right? Yes. You're, okay, you're good. Good with 30, 60, 90. Yvette is now licensed to handle 30, 60, 90 right triangles.